definitely one of my favorite riffs in this song. Uh, I'll use a pick again to, um, to play it for you. See if I can play this slowly. It's a little harder to play this slow, actually. Uh, D sharp. A sharp. F. And then this little walk here. Let's slide that up to a G this up and then back down and have this finger ready to grab this C ending on F and then this little fill C one boo boo but that's it next it drops into that section where you put your bet on number one and it comes up every time so uh, starts on a G put your bet on number one C back to the G all backed up and put your first in line C D I like to add this little fill here. Then you finally ask yourself, and then it goes down to a D sharp. Over to a C. Up to D. And finally ends on G. Immediately after that, he jumps into a, um, a very quick uh, fill and starts on C. Pull off that C with your pinky, that last C there. Like that. Then we make that one ring because it's a song that just punches. And during that delay, right there, use that opportunity to get back into position because he gets back into this thing. Okay, we're just about done with the first side. Uh, one more little fill to do. Uh, while he's doing he breaks into something like this. Now that's not exactly right. I think I think it actually goes something like um, Let me play it along with the record here. I like to play it my way because it keeps flowing better that way, for me anyway. So we'll go ahead and play that here and um, just finish out the rest of the first side here. I'll just play straight through. There's only three more notes to learn after this. <laughs> notes are F, F, A sharp, F, A sharp, C.
Okay, there, that finishes it up. The, the first side of Thick as a Brick by Jethro Tull. Uh, on those last three notes, I don't think he actually plays them on bass um, during that section, but you might want to put them in just to give you something to do during that. The timing is a lot of fun to play with. Uh, thanks for looking in. This is Marky from Hawk Studio. Bye-bye.